Let's jump into Robinhood real quick. Look at the pure element right here and the line extending off of it. These are actually very important elements because the pure shape element indicates the current stock price, the current share price, and the line serves as a divider. This Tesla call, for example, anything below this line is in the money call option contract. They have intrinsic and extrinsic value. Anything above this line are out of the money contract. They don't have any intrinsic value. They have zero intrinsic value. Hmm, why is it important? What about extrinsic value? Very good point. Both intrinsic and extrinsic value contribute to the final pricing of all those option contracts. And that is what I'm going to cover today. In this video, I'm going to use my design skills to explain intrinsic and extrinsic value. Walking you through what they are, what they mean, why are they important, what are some implications, what would I buy, how would they relate to some of the fundamentals in option tradings like the Greeks or in the money, out of the money. So in the end, you have a more holistic understanding of intrinsic and extrinsic value. And then go on your own very adventurous option trading journey. Sounds exciting? Let's begin. Good morning everyone, my name is Justin, I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley and I'm here today to use design to explain intrinsic and extrinsic value. One of the most two of the most important concepts in option trading. Just FYI, this video is very intertwined with the in the money, out of money, at the money video that I made last week. So make sure to check that out. Now let's start with something high level. Intrinsic value, extrinsic value. These terms might feel a little bit foreign, but essentially it just comes down to one word, value. What's value? What's value of a call option contract? This is actually no different from the cost of the contract. Tesla calls, for example, if you buy a Tesla call, this A50 strike Tesla car has a price of 2970. It cost 2970. The price of it is 2970. If you go deeper in the money, say the 800 Tesla car, it costs 6545. The price of it is 6545. It has a value of 6545. It's the same as how much this option contract is worth. So value equals money. That's what value means in the context of option contract. Intrinsic value and extrinsic value are further breakdown of the value of an option contract. It's a breakdown of these price tags here. The value of an option contract has both intrinsic and extrinsic value from zero dollar to some other amount. You can totally say the net of intrinsic and extrinsic value of this 920 Tesla put is 32.45. That also works. But you don't say that, right? You just say it costs $32.45. A lot of the terminologies of option trading are actually dropped and omitted for convenience purposes. But if you don't understand the underlying basis and complexities, you could be missing a lot of key information and knowledge. So this is a high level view of what intrinsic and extrinsic values are. If you are still following, awesome. We can go deeper into those interesting details. If you're new to this channel, just so you know, you don't have to smash the like button just yet. Do that in the end. If you find this video useful, or insightful, hold me accountable. Now without further ado, let's dive right into the details. Well, let's start with intrinsic value. Intrinsic value of an option contract is determined by only two things, its strike price and the share price of the underlying stock. Does that sound familiar? What determines this state or the moneyness of an option contract is two things, only two things, the option strike price and the underlying stock price. That's exactly right. The exact same two factors that determine whether an option contract is in the money or out of the money. That's why they're very, very intertwined. But let's circle back to that. For any option contract to have intrinsic value, a non-zero intrinsic value, it needs to make sense for the option buyer to exercise it. For example, it makes sense to exercise an 800 strike Tesla call when the Tesla stock price is a 50. Because you can buy 100 shares at a lower price, at a strike price of $800 per share. Then you can sell those 100 shares back to the market at the market price of $850. Then you profit. It makes sense to exercise that. For example, it makes sense to exercise a 900 Tesla put when the Tesla stock price is $850. Because then you can buy 100 shares from the market at $850 and sell 100 shares at a higher price, at a strike price of 900. That's one way to make a profit. It makes sense to exercise. So that's for intrinsic value. Any in the money option contract will have intrinsic value because it makes sense to exercise any option contract that are in the money. However, out of the money option contracts, 
don't have intrinsic value or they have a zero intrinsic value. Next is extrinsic value. Extrinsic means extra, additional, not inherent, accessory, attached. See where I'm going with this? It doesn't have to have, it's not part of the core. Core being intrinsic, it's outside of the core. These are the three things that will affect the extrinsic value amount. The strike price of the option contract, underlying share price, and time. And let's go over the first two things first. At a fixed timestamp, there's a way to calculate the extrinsic value given an option contract. Take this 800 Tesla in the money call, for example. If you use the strike price plus the option price, minus the share price. That is a formula to get you the extrinsic value. So it's 800 plus 65.45 minus 850.50 equals 14.95. You have to times 100 because in option trading, it always trades in a unit of 100. So you will get 14.95, $1,495. This is the extrinsic value amount for this 800 Tesla in the money call. How is this formula derived? This is arguably one of the most complicated thing in option trading and nobody will tell you about it on YouTube. If you understand this, it's a major breakthrough of your understanding in options. Remember I said extrinsic value is the actual stuff, the actual value. Why is there an actual value in the cost of an option contract? The reason is that this actual value is the risk that the option buyer is taking. Let's say I'm the buyer, I'm buying an option contract. I'm paying this actual money, this extrinsic value, to bet the underlying stock will go in the direction that I want it to go. Well, what if my bet goes south? Well, that's how the seller can make a profit from me. Same example, 800 in the money Tesla call. If I pay 65, 45 for this and then exercise it right away, because I could, and because I can buy 100 shares at the strike price, I will have to spend a total of 65, 45 plus 800 times 100 equals 80K, which gives me a total of 86,545. And then I will have 100 shares of Tesla in my account. The call option contract will be gone because I exercised it. What to pay attention here is that I spent a grand total of 86,545 for 100 shares. If I sell those 100 shares right now, I only get 850,50 back because that's where the market is trading Tesla's shares at. I lose 14.95. This 14.95 is exactly the extrinsic value that we just calculated from this option contract that I just bought it. Which means if Tesla stock does not go up, me buying this 800 in the money Tesla call will not make me a profit. I could actually lose money. I will lose 14.95 if Tesla stock doesn't go up. This is actually a very very crucial thing to understand. On the mobile version of Robinhood, that will actually tell you. 865.45 is the break even point, which is exactly 800 plus 65.45. The strike price plus the option contract price. That's where my gain with this call option contract would cover the extrinsic value, the extra cost, the risk that I pay for buying this call option contract. This is a good thing to look at so I know how much Tesla stock has to go up to cover the extrinsic value that I pay for. If Tesla stock actually goes up 1.76%, I break even, if it goes up more, that will be pure profit. On a desktop version, however, it does not show me the break even for some reason. So just be aware of that. And that's for extrinsic value for in the money option contract. But what about for out of the money option contracts? Before expiration, any option contract will have extrinsic value. The amount will vary depending on the money it is, meaning how in the money or how out of money it is. For this 850 at the money tester call, it has an extrinsic value of 2920 with the formula we just used before. When it goes out of the money, this 870 out of the money Tesla call, for example, the entire value, the entire cost, the entire price of this call option contract is extrinsic value. As out of the money option contract do not have any intrinsic value anymore. We just talked about that, right? And the extrinsic value of this 870 out of the money call is just the cost listed right on the Robinhood, 19. 58. That's actually pretty easy to remember. Anything above the line, above the share price pill, is out of money. All the cost, the price that you see here, is extrinsic value. For put, it's flipped. Anything that's below the line is extrinsic only because they're out of the money. If you don't know why they're flipped, check out my in the money, out of the money video. So the last factor, time. How does time affect extrinsic value? One of the option Greeks, 
theta is responsible for eating up, churning the extrinsic value of an option contract. So if I buy an option contract, the stock stays flat every day, the value, the price of my option contract will go down by the theta amount. It goes down because theta is eating up the extrinsic value, right? That's the definition of theta. And you know, extrinsic value is the extra, something that can affect that amount. In this case, theta and time are affecting the extrinsic value. They're decreasing it every day until the option contract expires. One good example is that all out-of-the-money option contract will expire worthless. They will have zero value, zero extrinsic value. Theta will deplete it. The logic here is very straightforward. Out-of-the-money option contracts only have extrinsic value. And theta decays, it's up that value every day until it expires. So when it expires out of the money, theta will decay it all. So it will be worth zero dollar. It will go down to zero dollar. On the other hand, because in the money option contracts have both intrinsic and extrinsic value. Even though theta will eat up all the extrinsic value when it expires, because it expires in the money, it will still have value. It will still have the intrinsic value. The price of the contract will not go to zero. If you want to see how that will play out life, you can check out a few simulation videos that I made earlier. Lastly, we can look at some patterns. What are some common patterns? What are some implications? What are something that we can leverage off to make better profits? Pattern one, value and moneyness. Here's a chart that captures everything. The more in the money, the more intrinsic value it has, but less extrinsic value it has. At the same time, it shifts more advantages to option buyers. As we reiterate, in the money is good for buyers. If you look at the most expensive calls or puts, they are always the one that are deepest in the money because it holds a large amount of intrinsic value and very, very little of extrinsic value. Next pattern, value and delta. This is similar to the money, this one, because we know high delta correlates to deep in the money. By that logic, we know high delta contracts have more intrinsic value, but less extrinsic value. Low delta under 0.5 is likely to have only extrinsic value because it's likely that it's already out of the money. Next pattern, value and theta. Whenever you see theta, think time, think decay, think extrinsic value. Intrinsic values are not affected by theta because that's part of the core. So this pattern is only for extrinsic value. There's a pattern for how much extrinsic value an option contract will have. If we compare a few, we know that a deep in the money contract has very little extrinsic value. Very out of the money option contract has very little extrinsic value as well. At the money contracts have the most extrinsic value because they are the most uncertain ones as they can swing in the money and out of the money very, very quickly. More uncertainty, more risk, more extrinsic value. The amount of extrinsic value determines how high the theta will be. If you remember from my theta deep dive video, theta is small when it's deep in the money, at its highest when it's at the money, and smallest again when it's very out of the money. Perfectly matches the pattern of extrinsic value. Therefore, even though Robinhood does not show you how much extrinsic value a contract has, I can tell you this A50 Tesla call has the most extrinsic value without me doing any math because it's at the money and it has the highest theta. This is a good trick, right? Next pattern, value, buyers, and sellers. Intrinsic value will go up when the stock price go in the direction that favors the option contract. That's what the buyers want and what buyers care about. The perfect contract for buyers would be one with 100% intrinsic value and 0% extrinsic value. Of course, that's not really possible. So a good compromise for a buyer it could make is maybe 90% intrinsic and 10% extrinsic. As you know, deep in the money contracts would be more likely to expire in the money, which is very close to their ideal case. That's why experienced option buyers like to buy deep in the money contracts to profit. As much as option buyers don't like extrinsic value, sellers love it. It's their dream. That's all they want. Option sellers want to sell all option contracts that will end up expiring out of the money so that the option contracts will drop to zero, which is saying they can buy back the option contract for zero dollar, which is equivalent to saying that they can profit from whatever, from how much ever they sell it for. As you know, out of the money contracts tend to be more likely end up expiring out of the money. 
That's why experienced option sellers like to sell out of the money option contract. All right, guys, we covered quite a lot today. It's very lengthy, but informative and thorough, isn't it? Let me know if you have any thoughts in the comment section down below. There are more related topics I plan to do in future videos. If you have a strong preference of which one you want to see first, simply let me know in the comment section down below. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have learned something new, congratulations and I hope I earned a big like from you for this video. If you want to see more finance videos like this, consider smash the subscribe button as well. That will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content down the road. This is still a very small channel, so every like and subscribe counts. And I will thank you, thank you in advance. Don't forget to grab some free money from my referral code for one free stock on Robinhood, two free stocks from Weibo, $40 worth of Bitcoin from BlockFi, and lastly, $5 free cash from the Cash App. Once you've completed those three steps, I will personally give you five more dollars worth of Apple stock. Great deal. Have fun following your passion and keep using design to scrap your finances. And I will see you all in the next video.